Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming today again with another Guns Up video. I hope you guys like it so far. It's like a bulk recording of three or four episodes while I'm rendering. So I don't know if anybody watched it, if, any, if you get any comments on it or anything. So we still have to do the two skull opponent thingy and uh, we have to go to war one more time anyways. So we can do stuff. Well, between episodes I actually was checking YouTube if there are other guys out there so we could create an alliance Which costs 500 gold which we don't have which I don't have I might mm, if I might get actually a package See how much I can get there find an alliance PC master regime <laughs> like it Boost B4E unless punks guns up Rangers, Skulls, can we keyword, Baron, I watched Baron's, Baron's games, nah, it doesn't find anybody here, I was looking if maybe we could join his alliance, he's another YouTuber, I watch Top Alliances, Alliances Leaderboard, Carreros, okay, Season 8, Okay, that's cool. Probably devil around with that maybe in the future. Anyways, uh, let's go to war and let's see if we can't defeat... <clears throat> PvP, friends. Still have no friends. <laughs> Fish on. Bombs away. He has two tents and a mortar. So he has quite a lot. Oh, he actually has a grenadier or something like that. That's actually pretty... Frightening. Uh, we have an empty slot. We will get the unit cap upgrade. And we're gonna move out. And let's see how we do here now. We will reach level 4 after this mission if we win. Which unlocks a second card slot. And 1 times 500 credits? Or was it 1 times 5000? I don't know. We will see here in a second. Out with the engineers, uh, not the engineers, with the rifleman. He has the grenadiers here, which is yikes. I don't know, should I take out his mortar team or should I take out the tent? I think I should take out the mortar first. Boom, goodbye mortar. Gives me some more ammo. I am maxed out on my squad though. Yep, there goes one. Probably should get one of those guys in. He actually shot the wall. <laughs> get another rocket launcher. Probably should use it to take out one of his tents. Ooh! There goes one of his tents. Probably get one of those guys in, one of those guys in, and one of the scouties in. I don't know, does the tear gas work on the structure? Or gas or smoke or whatever you want to call it. Bring in a second grenadier. Nah, doesn't work. The tower still fires at me. Or the main building still fires at me. But we should be able to defeat those guys quite easily. I don't need any other troops. There are a lot of troops still coming in. I like that he has the two flags here. Looks nice and that was a victory. So I was victorious. We reach level four. Beautiful. Oh no, that was just the points. There is the level. Ooh, army surplus, a relay flag, and rapid deployment. That might be something good for 5k ammunition. Nice. And the medic. <clears throat> cool. Future uh, free attacks a slot card. Calling the shots, the colonel. Okay, the other guys or whoever, maybe it was the AI. Um, it's like a scripted event for level three. You had to defend your base. Uh, they actually brought a colonel, which with his pistol, he is pretty bad. Um, what? No, limited time offer. Nah, I don't care. So we go to the barracks. <clears throat> ah, we don't have the ammunition to recruit him. But added perks. 
your unit stand in the ready. Reduce offensive deployment cooldown by 5%. Increase the effect effects of tent cooldown power by 5%. Huh. I think I, I still keep the fire rate, though. What's that? Come on. More time at the firing range is never a bad thing. Increases accuracy by 8%. Well, nah, I leave it like that. So, uh, <clears throat> daily missions, we still have to defend, to kill 20 more to defend, to get this card pack, and still have to f win four more times to m finish this mission. So, straight on, continue with the war. Um, two sniper towers, a tent. Let's give it another try. Ice creams. Let's attack ice creams. Oh, we have a second guard slot now. Nice. So, unicap up by two. And that does decrease deployment cost by 10%. Sure. <clears throat> spend a little less money. A little less ammunition to spam out my troops out of the truck. Uh, level 5 rewards will be a CPU defense. And the rest I couldn't read because I was too slow. Of course I was. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it just costs 90 now, not um, 100 anymore, which is nice. Get the engineers out. A lot of troops coming in. There are gas barrels over here. Should we use the gas against him? Nah, not enough troops here. We get ammo for killing enemies, though. Three for the normal grunts, and probably more for other stuff. So we kick up a bombing run up here. Maybe we get one of the sniper towers dead. Which would be actually pretty nice. We didn't do a lot of damage to any of the stuff. Which is bad. We probably should focus fire on one of the sni- Ooh. Oh, that's a firebomb, actually. Um, yeah, take out the sniper tower. Uh, nah. Mm, that was a waste. That was a super waste because my mouse moved. I didn't get the troops. And they killed everybody on the front. But well, we took out one of the sniper towers at least. And there we get some more. I mean, oh, we actually took out one of the gas barrels. Nice. So the enemy is now standing in the gas. Was standing in the gas, which is not good for him. <clears throat> take out the last sniper tower and then the tent. Actually, got a grenadier in here as well. Ammunition for destroying the hut, ammunition for destroying the, the sniper tower, destroy the tent so no more reinforcements come in, and now take out the base. That was a two skull mission, right? So that should at least finish one of the things we had to finish. Uh, we could use the gas here so they don't fire back at us. Doesn't cost me anything. Doesn't cost me any ammunition, I mean. We got a kill streak of five. Ooh, there goes his cap main building. Capital building. Two out of five missions won. I don't remember if it was a two-star mission, a two-skull mission or not. I think it was. Ooh, command. HQ8. Ooh. And the resource crate. Command cards are assigned to your HQ and give you a boost while defending. Continue. Okay. Specialized crates full of goodies that can be earned as PvP rewards. Nice. And we don't have any keys, we don't have any gold. Um, guaranteed items would be currency, hats, and bonus item would be TNT, Valor, and a, a thing card. But I don't have any keys, so just scrap it then. A thousand ammunitions for that. Yay. Not really a much, but... I think I can get the medic for ten for ten thousand, right? So we should be able to get a medic in. Here. Yeah. <clears throat> I think. We will see here. A second in the barracks. I think it was 10k. A medic would be nice to get a medic. Yeah. Level up. You gain another 5k. Beautiful. 
Yep, continue. And we go to the barracks. And what's the medic? 10k, beautiful. Recruit him. Way. Pharmacy. And edit perks. Uh, rapid deployment. Doesn't really help me to give you that perk. So I leave you perkless for the moment. Actually, go back into the barracks. No, I don't have any valor to level them up or anything. Um, edit cards. Empty. Ooh, we can assign this one. Do not stack. Okay. Ah. We have either two uh, rangers and four uh, four riflemen, or we could get the eight. This one. Well, I'll stay with this one for now. It's okay. Veterans? I don't have any veterans. Attack enemy truck, find cover, or defend HQ. Find cover, actually. But that's for just the veterans, I guess, which I don't have. We could test the base. Uh, we're not gonna do that. So, uh, unlock an att uh, another attack card slot, reach level 4. We did that already. Assure, assure victory. Go to war with three attack cards in your loadout. Job well done. Go to the intel screen and claim your daily mission ra rations. Um, which is the intel? There is the intel screen. Daily rations available. Claim one. What do we get? A perk. Fire rate by 70%. Continue. Next reward in 12 hours. Okay. Day two, day three, day four. So day two we claimed, we have to claim day three in 12 hours. So tomorrow I will uh, hop back in and see what we can get in there. Uh, ah, go to base, there it is. So we go to war again, I think. Yep, we did that, so we have to go to war. How much more time we have to win, actually? Three more times, okay. So yeah, let's go to war. Uh, let's take an easier mission. And I actually want to remove you and I'm gonna assign the medic over here. Very nice. Uh, no, doesn't well. I mean, edit unit, perks. I mean, a higher fire rate. I, he has a weapon, he probably will shoot, so... It's at least some, that's at least what I'm hoping. Uh, so we have the firebomb, and we can get... Oh, let's assign the tear gas, and then move out again. <clears throat> let's see, uh, CPU, two times 5k ammunition, and actually 50 gold when we reach level 5. Nice. Cool, so you can get gold without buying gold. One medic, the rest will be... Uh, normal infantry rifle squads. Well, actually, one grenadier. And bring along the bombing run. That wasn't really helpful. Well, I took out a lot of infantry back there, so. It's at least something. The tear gas won't really help me here. But the decoy probably will. Well, only guy against the machine gunner, unfortunately. Yeah, let's get another grenadier in. Take out those two structures. Beautiful. Medic is still alive. So get another. Yeah, maybe get another medic in here. And another rifle squad. Damn it! Well, take out the sniper tower. Boom! At least I took out the sniper tower. Of course, the grenadier is gonna get scrammed here. Crammed. Killed. Because they just 
outflanked him. Actually, Tegan's OP here. So my troops can move up a little bit more freely. And... <laughs> the medic has a huge fire rate, actually. And we have another relay point. We could use... We have two relay points now. Yep. Ammunition. Maybe bring up another, another grenadier. I mean, my medic is getting... Nowhere, he's standing behind here, but the troops would need healing up front, so... On big run! Uh, okay, bombing around can actually hurt your own troops. I just killed one of my units over here. Just saw him fly back because he got hit by one of the bombs. But we did victory! We did win. Vivo victory. I got another 1500 ammunition, another 1000 ammunition tactical boots, and unit capacity upgrade card. What does tactical boots do? That would be interesting to see. I'll be interested to see that. We will see it in a second. And, oops, next of my videos just went live. My cell phone reminded me of that. Um, yeah, yeah, we just go right away straight into the next battle and I'm gonna go with an easy one again Easy-ish one. He has one sniper tower one tent one machine gun bunker and one mortar He has one 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 no mortar Yep, let's go for the easier one uh, boots rare Run right through barb wire and increase Dagger resistance. I don't need that here. Let's get <coughs> the helmet. You need capacity, up capacity upgrade and actually the tear gas and move out. We'll see how we'll do with that. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Loading versus. Go in there. Grab everything. Push them out, push them out, push them out. And the rest will be riflemen. Rifleman. That's actually it for the rifleman. Uh, no mortar, right? He has the machine gun bunker up here. Sniper tower. I think I want to take out the sniper tower first, like this. Boom. Okay, that didn't help the way I was hoping it would. There, the infantry, enemy infantry flies around. And actually use the gas to stop the guys from coming closer-ish. And take out the bunker, take out the bunker. You actually... No, you're not. I was going to say, you're actually out of range for the machine gun. No, you're not. Take out the infantry. Take out the infantry. We still have one decoy we could use and one rally point we could use. I actually have this thing over here. Well, let's see what it takes out. Boom! A lot of infantry and actually the tent. Nice. Yep. That's two times ammunition. <clears throat> Not a lot, but a little bit. And there we go. Grenade launcher medal. Four out of five victories. That should be good. Very close to fulfill the daily goal. Very close to level five. Ammunitions boost. Two times. Unit health and currency, five gold. We actually can get gold in missions in card packs. So it's not really, um, you don't actually have to spend a lot of money. I guess you could get gold just through the game, which I love <clears throat> because I hate games where you, at some point you can't advance anymore when you have to invest money. I mean, it's a decent game. I probably will invest something uh, just for the developers, I mean, they somehow have to pay the rent and the employees as well, so... It's just fair, if you like a game, you should pay something for it, uh, if you can. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next up, go on an offensive kill spree. Go on the offensive, not a kill spree, but we have to kill 50 enemies. And reach level 5 and unlock another... And 
CPU defense, which is nice. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. <clears throat> I'll probably record one more, and then I go probably to bed, because my voice is starting to fail, <clears throat> and rendering will still go on for a couple of hours. So anyway, like I said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you, you enjoyed it. If you did, follow me on social media, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, whatever you desire to do. And I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.